All right. Appreciate it. All right. Okay, let's just. Move. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. All right. Um, my Mamuna. Maymuna Sayed. Maymuna. See, I'll get it right one day. Maymuna Sayed. Thank you for joining me for the Futures Female Podcast. We're gonna get this right one day, and mm -hmm. maybe when I'm doing this full time, and I really have the time to, to figure great. out this is all this technical yeah. stuff. So. I appreciate you giving me a, a few minutes of your time. I know you um, have a meeting later, but I wanted to interview you to talk about Emerge California. Yes. And the soon upcoming deadline for the application um, for Emerge California program. So if you can just tell me a little bit about the program, tell our audience what the program is, who, what type of women you're looking for, and um, the cutoff date and time, exactly. Wonderful. So um, Emerge California is the premier training program for Democratic women who are looking to run for political office. Um, our program runs for five months, so it begins in December of this year and will wrap at the end of April of next year. Um, and we train on everything from you know, how to get your professional and personal life in order before you decide to run to evaluating what offices you should be running for, um, down to like campaign finance regulations, how to do appropriate fundraising, how to run a field program. So it's a very in-depth five-month training um, where really the greatest value outside of the skills um, is the development of the cohort and uh, integration into the greater Emerge California Sisterhood, which you actually belong to, Chandra. So um, yes. this is, um, I think you can, you can probably speak more to the value of the program than I could. Um, mm -hmm. But the Sisterhood is strong, and it is one that is like very supportive of each other, um, down to like, usually our women are the first, like they, decide to run and let their Emerge Sisterhood know that they're running first. Um, and then these amazing women who are Emerge alumni usually step up to the plate to either contribute or knock on doors or are just there for, um, you know, the emotional um, support that's needed when women decide to run for office. Um, so we are currently three days away from our application deadline. The yep. deadline is on September 1st. Um, and we're looking for women who are committed to run for office in the next 18 to 20 months. Um, and um, these women just have to be folks who are like, who care about their communities, who are integrated into their communities, who want to represent their communities, and are ready to take that next step in um, personal leadership and political leadership. Yes. Um, I, as she said, I am an alum, and it was one of the best experiences of my life. And I can tell you, although I'm not running yet, um, I'm sure I will run in the future. But even if I don't run, I think what it provides you is the foundation um, whenever you're going to run. You know, you don't have to graduate and automatically jump into a race. Um, I know that I have that emerge foundation of everything I learned um, that is going to help me. And, I, and every time I see a woman that's running and hasn't gone through emerge, and even though they're still they're they're about to run and they're about to get in their race, I, I tell them you still need to join Emerge. You still should participate in Emerge because it I think that it it you you are you're it's a different type of um, training that you have and a perspective you get when you go through Emerge that you're not seeing if you don't go through it as a candidate. I feel. Um, I, I can tell the difference. I can tell an eMERGE candidate from a non-eMERGE candidate <laughs> when I'm just observing the community, you know, when I'm watching and, you know, I'm, I'm part of the leadership of the community. So I see, I, I can tell because I've been through it. So I know the difference. And like you said, it's a strong sisterhood. I just got a phone call from uh, Rochelle um, that's running for state assembly in Tony Thurman's seat. So I already got a phone call from her and I was like so excited for her and I said yes I'll definitely contribute to your campaign and I'm gonna do a monthly contribution and that's how tight we are it's like it was no question that I was gonna support her and so she has a, you know it's like a sorority right it's kind of like a sorority of sisters that you have to support you to come out and walk your campaign to give you advice 
um, to be your 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 listening board, you know, just to listen to you or to talk things out and to help each other. So I think it's something that, like I said, it's one of the best things I've ever done in my life. <laughs> that makes me so happy. You have no idea. And I hear these stories every time I meet with an Emerge alum who's gone through the program, right? It's like the, you know, the, I, I cannot overemphasize the skills that women are going to get when they go through this training. It is five months. And I've seen the journey of our class of 2017 this past year. So I came on in January and like mm -hmm. in January, people were still trying to get their footing after one training. You know, they had been through a Christina Harbridge training, who if you <laughs> don't know who Christina Harbridge is, look her oh, up. Oh, she's awesome. Phenomenal. Yes. And we Phenomenal. were just going through the Jonah Olson uh, cultural diversity training. And you could see that people were like starting to expand their minds and how they understand social constructs and dynamics. And mm -hmm. then to see these same women at the end of April graduate our program as leaders, as like wow. strong, fierce, beyond making Beyonce proud every day kind of women. It was yeah. just it was just so empowering to see it. And some of these women are now um going on and like filing their campaign papers to run for office in 2018, which mm -hmm. if you want to talk about the real value of Emerge California uh, outside of like what we do for our program members, we're basically leveling the playing field when it comes to representation at a local level. So 52% right. of all registered voters in the state of California are women. And yet 20%, 22% are um, Twenty-two percent of elected offices, at least at a statewide level, are represented by women. So we have this right. huge gap in representation when it comes to issues that are re relevant to every family in the state of California. And Emerge is helping to balance out that that playing field and level it so that we're making political races accessible to any woman who cares about her community and wants to take that step forward. Yeah. I think that that's what helped me too is I it, being a part of Emerge. It makes you feel confident, like okay, yeah, I am. A, I, I do have these leadership skills, and I was identified as a great candidate to be a part of Emerge. And yeah, I can do it, right? Because I think a lot of women have this self doubt, right? We feel that you know maybe I shouldn't, you know, maybe I need to wait or. We, I, I'm just not ready yet. Um, and I remember the statistic, and I don't know if you guys still use it, but it's like, you know, women need to be asked like seven times mm -hmm. to run um, before, and a man maybe like once, and he's like, oh, yeah, for sure, I'm, I'm doing it. I'm going to do it. Yeah, I could do it. <laughs> and, and, and us women, we're kind of like, oh, I don't know. I need to wait. I need to do this. Or it's not my turn yet. I need to wait in line. I need to wait my turn. And, you know, we have, we, you know, we always second guess ourselves. And I think this is probably one of the reasons why Emerge was created is because uh, we do second guess ourselves and we have to get pushed. We have to kind of like get thrown over the edge um, to do it. Um, so I, you know, I can just attest for myself that I still have that self doubt and I still get pushed, but I'm by choice, you know, not running. I know I could run right now. You could totally by run. I'm building something right now and I'm definitely will, but I'm, building something right now and and then I will do it I have a plan in my head you know right. when I'm going to do it but a lot of a lot I know a lot of women have self-doubt before they do it but is that statistic true and is it different now I think it is true and programs like Emerge's program are really helping to bridge that divide right I mean I'm just going to share a little bit about myself for folks who don't know um, much about me so I'm from Philadelphia um, and my family immigrated to the United States in 1993 from Saudi Arabia for the purpose of like education, right? Like that was the number one reason why we came over here. I'm the youngest of six kids. And, you know, as like Muslim Indian immigrants to this country, I never really felt like I had a place in politics. Mm -hmm. You know, and I add those, you know, as, as, as a woman, as an immigrant, as uh, a Muslim woman in this country, I never really felt like I had a place in American politics. Until I went and on a whim interned with Hillary Clinton in 2007 in New Hampshire. And it just felt so validating to and empowering to be able to have a significant role in the political system of this country because it was absolutely 110% what I believed in and what I was passionate about. So from there, just by what I'm going to call as 
circumstance, I wound up winding up in the labor movement for the past eight years um, and kind of making my way out west. But, and I know that there are a lot of women out there right now who are thinking about whether or not there is a place for them in the political system. And like, if I can do it, y'all can do it. Like, and we can do it together, right? Like the only way that we're gonna make sure that every voice in this country is heard is by coming together and making sure that there is an opportunity for every voice to be heard. And the Mm -hmm. more women that we can get elected into political office, the more accessible we're gonna make this, not just for our generation, but our daughters and our granddaughters. So they can grow up envisioning, not just like dreaming and hoping for the first woman president, but maybe they're the ones who do it. Maybe they're the ones who decide to run and become the first woman president. Um, Mm -hmm. I was working for Secretary Clinton in Pennsylvania as her training director back in 2016. And, you know, the 48 hour mourning period after the campaign, all I kept thinking about was like, why did this happen? Right? Like, we have this unbelievably qualified woman, how come she did not get elected? And I felt, and I still feel deep down in my soul, that the only way for us to be able to reach that highest office and to break that highest glass ceiling is to have more women in our political system which is and programs like emerge especially emerge here in california has the ability to create that environment so that we can have more women elected at every level of government and hopefully you know I, i keep saying to myself the next woman president is out there she just needs to join an emerge program Right. (laughs) And that's for sure. I definitely believe that. And also what I feel with Emerge is that it doesn't just prepare you to run for office. It just prepares women to be leaders, right? Whether it's at their company, whether it's at their union, whether it's, you know, in their community, you don't have to be an elected officer, like, I mean, elected city council member, school board member, state assembly, run for Congress. There's several other seats right? Like delegate for the, for the democratic party, right? That there is commission seats within your city, you know, within your County, there's city commissions. So there's all these different types of elected positions that you can run for. Not necessarily has to be these ones that you see on TV, because I know a lot of people call me the mayor, call me Congressman, Miss Obama, Congressman Brooks and stuff, because that's all they see on TV, right? That's the only Uh, elected positions that they see so you know it's just automatic but there's so many other things where we can show up as leaders where where emerge prepares you for right it gives you that confidence like you have a voice i can lead and it teaches teaches you all these skills like you said i remember the media training i remember christina's training i mean that was transformational yeah um, just to show up as our authentic selves and really pull that out of us i don't remember I, I can't remember how many times we cried and <laughs> hugged and like i mean it was just re- they broke us down they break you down um to the core right to and that's how you really create that bond with with your sisterhood because you really tell intimate things about yourselves and and really kind of get deep down on on you know your passion why you are are leading the way you're leading or why you want to lead within your community um what else i remember the campaign i remember the the social structures trainings all these i mean it, like i said it was the best experience for, of my life and and this is why i wanted to have you and and i wanted to interview you because i don't want to be selfish and have that only opportunity i know i recruited several women last year that went through the program and i continue to always promote and try to recruit and identify individual women and say, you know what, you should really apply for Emerge and just kind of push them, you know, just nudge them a little bit because I see potential in them as leaders. And, you know, they need people like us to push them and to say, hey, I see something in you. And doesn't mean you have to run next year, but you should apply and you should join this program because it's going to prepare you if you ever want to in the future. You're going to have that foundation and you're going to have that resource in your back pocket to, you know, we, you know, we have that support moving forward if we want to. Absolutely. And I mean, I think people calling you Congresswoman or, you know, like assembly member, I think that they're just envisioning a reality for you that you might not be ready to see yet. Right. Right. And that's basically what happens in our Emerge program is that there are so many women in this room who recognize, who are able to recognize the leadership within each other, that it just reinforces and and helps, 
I think every program re member recognize their own individual leadership and helps them step into their true self, as mm -hmm. Greenpeace says. And I mean, the path to running for political office is not easy, not by any means, and especially not for women, and especially not for minority women. But right. I think that um, with a concentrated effort to deliver the skills, to deliver the knowledge, the connection to the larger network, both within the emerge um, within the emerge network and outside the greater political structure and the greater political network, we're creating an environment where women can succeed to run for political office. I mean, our win number seventy percent of all of our women who have ever run for office are elected, right? Like those those are beautiful numbers that speak in and of itself. But yes. I think what you're highlighting and kind of what I like to focus on because the win number is wonderful, but the transformational journey that women go through when they go through an eMERGE program is just exponential, right? It's just, yeah. it is so empowering. And I see the reverberations of that in the communities that they come from. And it yes. is, I mean, it is what gives me the, um, the desire, not even desire, but the inspiration to continue every day to do this work because mm -hmm. You know, we have amazing elected officials like Malia Cohen, who's on the Board of Supervisors in San Francisco, and London Breed, um, who's mm -hmm. on who's president of the Board of Supervisors in San Francisco. We even have like Letitia Clark, who's um, on the city council in Tustin. Like our program has expanded from Northern California, which we started, by the way, 15 years ago, mm -hmm. to now being, you know, very heavily um based in Southern California as well. So we're now running these two cohorts and thinking about how we can expand into the Central Valley to make this program more accessible to as many women as possible. Yeah, definitely. I know that was discussed. Um, it was being discussed at the end of 2015 in my program about moving it to Central Valley and thinking about that. So I'm hoping that that's going to happen very soon. Um, but yeah, definitely. I mean, not only are you creating but potential candidates but you guys are, I mean, we're coming back to our communities and we're showing up as leaders, you know, even stronger after we go through Emerge, you know, what, wherever it is, where, you know, we're just showing up a little bit stronger than we did even before we came into Emerge. So, you know, so that's just like a benefit in itself. Like you said, you know, Emerge doesn't just create candidates and has these great statistics that to show for it, but you're changing communities by the women that you guys are training and, and putting, I almost said throwing back into the communities, but you know, you know what I mean, you, you know, bring them in, to, bring them in to train them, and then place, you know, they, they, we come back to our communities, and we're just more, um, I think we're more outspoken, we're stronger, we're more confident, and we kind of know how the systems work, and we're not scared anymore to show up and to sit at the table, we're not, we're, you know, we're not scared to take our seat, yes. and say, thank you, this is my seat, I'm going to take it, and I have an opinion, and this is what this is what I have to say. So I think that that's just an amazing, amazing work that Emerge does, and that I'm so proud to be an Emerge alum. And even though it's a, I, I think our program was different. It was the last program that that kind of had the whole six months. And I don't know how you guys break it down now, but it was, um, like I said, it was just an, enough. It was just just enough yes. at that time. Um, but the value you get in that short amount of time is huge. I hated yeah. it. I hated for it to be over. So, oh, yeah. you know, right. So any women that are thinking about running, I mean, or even just, if it's just a little inkling in your head that is just like, maybe, you know, you should just do it, you know, yeah. because I think, I think the misconception is that if I go through a merge program, I have to run for office. If not, they're going to be chasing me down and saying, "Why aren't you running? Why aren't you?" Running? That's not it. You guys don't force people to run. It, yeah. You you should want to to apply, right? To apply and to even want to be in the program, you should want to. But you don't. It's not like mandatory that you run for office right after you graduate. <laughs> I mean, the, the, the idea is that you'd be able, you are going to be ready to run for office within 18 to 24 months of graduating our program. I said 20 earlier, but it's 24 months. And look, we're not going to okay. be chasing you down to do it, but you, I will give you a call right. because I am vested in your leadership um, and our board is vested mm -hmm. in your leadership and your alumna are vested in your leadership. And we want to make sure that you are empowered to step into your true self as a political leader. 
however you decide to do that. Right. And other focus that we spent a lot of time and you alluded to it earlier was um, the amount of emerged women that sit on boards and commissions across the state, right? Whether it's state boards and commissions or on a local level, um, we just want to make sure that we're getting down to that representation. There are municipalities in the state of California, and we're the most progressive state in the union. There are municipalities in the state of California that don't even have one woman. Right. Yes. And then yeah, like, like the Central Valley, right? <laughs> and when you look at um, gender parity across right. the country, us being the most progressive state in the union, we have... Um, we are surrounded by Iowa, Missouri, and Texas, and we just beat Texas, but we're behind Missouri and Iowa when it comes to gender parity on a national level. Uh, so there's a lot of work that we need to do, and I think that there, the, the great effect of what I'm calling the Trump bump is that there are so many more women now who are ready to step into their leadership and recognize the importance and value of them running for political office. Yes. And so, you know, with three days left to our applications, I just mm -hmm. want to instill upon everyone who's watching wisdom that my mom instilled upon me when I was very young. Mm -hmm. Do not take yourself out of the game before you're in the game. And mm -hmm. what that means is I know that thinking about running for political office might seem like a lot for you to handle right now. But put in your application. And once you get accepted, you can make the next decision on whether to go through the program or not. But apply. Don't ever count yourself out before the race has even started. Yes, yes, I love that. So can you tell um, people how they can apply, the sure. easiest way for them to apply? So our applications are currently live on our webpage. You can go to um, www.emerge, E-M-E-R-G-E-C-A dot O-R-G slash training, and that will take you to our training page. I know that there is obviously some advanced planning that needs to go on as people think through their schedules for next year. Every training date and location is publicized online. So every training weekend from December through April is already online and you should have access to that. Um, and then you can just submit your application online. We've also updated so that, so you need two references to go through the application process. And our references are now up on Google Docs. So you can just send a Google link to your references and they can fill it out. Again, we want to make sure that our applications are completely accessible to any woman who wants to run for office. Um, there, as part of the program, there is a $1,000 um, tuition request, uh, $1,500 tuition requirement uh, with the program, but we do provide scholarships and we allow um, $750 scholarships for the program and we allow for women to fundraise the other $750 that are associated to their tuition fees. So again, they happen with your sound. Can you hear me? Yes. Can I you can. hear me? It's very low for some reason. Huh. Okay. Let me see if I could just do this very quickly. Okay. Can you hear me now? I can hear you still, but it's ve it, the volume went down on you for some reason. Oh, so really just weird. yeah, you can keep going. I'm sorry. I just wanted to make sure we could hear you. No worries. Um, so there is a $1,500 um, tuition for the program, and we offer $750 scholarships, so half scholarships for the program. And we also train every woman who goes through our program to fundraise. So if you want to fundraise the other $750, of your tuition, we allow for that to happen. Um, so if you want to run, if you want to represent your communities, we're committed to making sure that it is accessible to every woman who wants to join. Can I add to that too for people that are kind of scared about the tuition? Um, I know you have scholarships, but also a resource within your community if you have clubs or groups that you're a part of, they can possibly sponsor you to go. I know there's a club just in San Jose, you know, it's Democratic Activists for Women now. They, you know, if you're a part of that that club and that group and that organization, they can possibly sponsor you as well. So if you're part of NAACP, if you're a member or if you're on the board, I mean, think about your resources and tap into those as well because they might be supportive and help you because they want you to be a leader within the community. They want to develop you and invest in you. So don't count yourself out. You know, utilize what you have around you. You never know who will support you in something like this. Absolutely, 110%. And again, I just, you know, I've only been at this organization for about nine months now, and I cannot speak to 
just like the amount of inspiration, especially coming after this presidential election cycle, to meet with the alumna who have gone through our program and to really witness um, their leadership and their success and their commitment to representing their communities. It is everything I need to get out of bed in the morning. And I bet. I, every Emerge alumna feels the same way. So yeah. just go ahead, apply for the program, and then once you get in, make the decision to do it and start taking those little baby steps to step into your greatest, truest leadership. And I, th you said it's uh, Friday. Is that the first September first is the deadline? September first is the deadline, and midnight, I believe midnight on September first, and that is Friday, September first. Yep. So I, I just want to tell somebody out there that's hesitant that I think I applied at the on the last day close to midnight and I got in and I've just haven't stopped since then and it was the best thing that ever you know one of the best things that ever happened to me I better not say that too loud my husband might get mad and my children <laughs> <laughs> it's one of the best things that I've ever done um, so I you know don't like 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 you said you know don't be scared just do it just jump and do it and then, then think about the details later <laughs> Yeah, exactly. You know, the schedule and how much money it's going to cost. And if you need support, if you need a reference, I'm I'm always there, you know, to, to offer that as well. I love that. Thank you so much for offering that up to the women who are watching. I know that folks might think that that might be a hindrance, but it's just, again, it's just so good to know that there is this amazing cohort of Emerge women here in California that are really making a difference every single day. And I can't I can't thank you enough for doing the work that you are doing today and just making leadership and political leadership accessible to folks who may have not otherwise interacted with it. Right. No, no problem. That's, that's what I'm here for. So thank you, Mamuna. And I, I appreciate your time and um, hopefully people, I'm going to put the website up. I'm going to um, post this on the, my socialpreneur page, my personal page, Women Get It Done, Silicon Valley, all the, my pages that I'm a part of. I'm going to make sure I share this so we can get the word out. Awesome. Thank you so much. Thank okay. Everybody, um, stay tuned, and um, you guys have a wonderful day. Bye.